Are you ready, big dog? I'm ready. Did I even tell you what I'm we're ready. doing? No. Welcome to Kansas QB, a show hosted by two former high school quarterbacks from the great state of Kansas. And now, here are your manly hosts, Steve Jewell and Tyler Martin. Yee-haw! Ride em, cowboy! Growing up in the cornfields of the Sunflower State, we were inseparable. Brothers from different mothers who also happened to be sisters. Our moms, not us. Decades later, he's in Iowa, I'm in Missouri, but we'll always have Kansas. And we'll always be the QB. Howdy, folks, and welcome to the show. I'm Steve, he's Tyler, and today's episode is entitled Mental Health. Tyler, for those who don't know, you and I started a podcast a little over a year ago. We recorded more than 50 episodes, and then life got a little crazy, and we took a break. I was this close, Tyler, to canceling our podcast hosting service. I actually had my, I was hovering my finger over the button. I told Bethany we were done. I told our super fan, Mike, that we were done. And then I realized something. You know what I realized, Tyler? What did you realize, Steve? I realized that I hadn't talked to my buddy, my childhood friend, my brother, cousin, Tyler, since our last episode. So I reached out. You did. You reached out. I, I too, was being patient. I, too, had stuff going on. Um, we were busy with a few things this summer since that uh ended <clears throat> we moved um but i too missed our chats as you know for the people who've been listening we are brother cousins and it was kind of a hole that we had there this summer and you know we thought maybe we could bring it back but if it was going to happen that way we probably should do something a little bigger i don't want to say better but better and something more engaging and something that uh would really keep us going this time. Yes, we are happy to be back and excited to bring to the masses a new and improved, as you mentioned, iteration of Kansas QB. I think folks will notice some differences as we go along. The biggest difference may be that this version is a little bit more of a broadcast than a podcast, uh, but it can still be consumed either way. You can find us at Kansas QB on the Facebook page. We're live there right now. This is not recorded ahead of time, folks. This is live. Um, I don't think that the uh, the YouTube version started. I don't know for sure, but I don't think it started. And uh, that was my fault. I knew there it probably wouldn't let us do both streams. So I, there's other ways around that. But eventually you'll be able to find us at the Jewel Media LLC YouTube page. And then eventually that's going to turn into the Kansas QB YouTube page. But uh, you can also find us anywhere podcasts are given away for absolutely free. Are you ready, Tyler? I'm ready, man. Let's get this going. So we've got a lot to get to today. Tyler, tell them what they can look forward to on today's show. So we've had some past that we've done, but now we've got some all new segments. One, Kansas catch up, where we're gonna be talking to some people from our time back in Kansas. Uh, Jay Talkers, a new one that we have not done yet. And the one that I am looking forward to not being picked for is pick your payback. I think that's gonna be a good fun fun time. That's what I think. (laughs) And, and, and as everybody just saw there, and we've, 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 we've hyped this, we've promoted this, so it's not a surprise to anybody, but we've got um, our dear friend, Mr. Uh, Matt Pally on the show today. So he, I, uh, I had him in there on that little graphic there, just so y'all could get a little taste of what's coming up. Uh, Tyler, let's get right into our first segment, Kansas Ketchup. Kansas Ketchup. You're there, I'm here, so let's catch up. Anything happened to the Martins these past, oh, I don't know, six months, Tyler? Uh, yeah, a lot's happened. And I don't know how we're officially gonna catch up on everything that's happened, but uh, our kids are a big part of our lives, so I'll kind of go through that first of all. But um, and Iowa softball is a summer sport, so right. Maddie going in into high school was able to play on the high school team this summer. As an eighth um, grader. And she got to... As an eighth grader, yeah. And that's that's weird here in Missouri. We don't do that. So that's in in Kansas. We don't do that. There's only, I I would think, I think it's the only state that plays summer baseball, summer softball. So we touched on it. it, I don't know what episode it was where we touched on that, but uh, it's cool for the kids that are playing. Um, I would, we would have loved to have done that. It detracts in some ways from other things, but that's not what we're talking about. Uh, Maddie was an eighth grader playing, um, or a freshman going into a freshman year playing 
got some varsity playing time. She was, for the most part, a DH um, for the high school team, and she had a pretty good season. She um, she was actually, uh, uh, I think she was honorable mention all conference as uh, as a freshman. So that was pretty cool. Um, I don't know when I talk about us moving, but stay with Case in his baseball season. They had a really good team that he's played with for a while, the Stingers. It was fun to watch them. They they played through end of July, and they they wound up having – they got moved up a division in the state um, because they would won a few tournaments. Um, since we've moved to Bondurant, he's been through a three-on-three tournament – or a three-on-three league basketball-wise that Steph got to coach. Will played his baseball season and just wrapped up his fall soccer schedule. Um, Case's flag football season just ended, uh, which it's – man, it's – Tell you what, it's fun to watch him play. He's they all have all our the kids all do different things. Um, they all do things well and they all do think different things well, but man, my case is fast, man. There's I remember there was one game I couldn't get to because I was at uh, our football stuff, um, some some staff stuff, and dad just said, Hey, by the way, your son uh had a pretty good game, had a pick six to kind of win the game. And hmm. did you know he's fast? <laughs> well, Surprise. that's why I married, that's where I was, why I married Steph, you know? So, right. Uh, For no, who don't know, which uh, anybody that watches the show or has listened to the show over the years, you already know that, you know, mom and dad of case are two division two, one of them <laughs> division one track athletes. So case should have been fast. If he hadn't been fast, yeah. that would have been a, a travesty of epic proportions. Yeah. So I'm glad to hear that he's coming yeah. into his speed that he rightfully inherited from his mom and his dad. All right, we seem to have lost Tyler. <laughs> welcome, welcome yeah. to a live show. Um, you told me your internet was better at your new house, welcome bro. Welcome to live show. I don't know. Yeah, I I thought it was. I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> it, the big news for us though is we moved this summer. So we were on the northwest side of Des Moines, kind of out in the country, a little ways, about 40 minutes from my work, and we just moved to Bondurant in July, uh, which cuts my time down dramatically. And then other big family news: Steph has is taking a job um, with the family leader. Uh, so it's also going to put her about five minutes from work. Um, so it's, it's cool. We've, we've had a good time. Um, we took a trip to Colorado, which we hadn't done since Will was a baby. Uh, the whole family went whitewater rafting. It's the first time Steph had been. We had, we had a good summer. It's been awesome. And, and football's off and rolling. We're 7-0 and right now. So we got a game tomorrow and hopefully be 8-0 next time we talk. So last year we were doing season two of the podcast. Mm -hmm. We got to spend a lot of time talking about your uh, football team and how that was going. And, uh, yeah. and one of the things we talked about, I think in the very last episode or second or third to last episode, that was the last episode we did. We we're talking about your recruiting and you, you were mm -hmm. telling us about a quarterback that you had that was new this year. That was going to be really good, but also could mm -hmm. run the ball. I haven't followed Grandview at all, except for when uh, Steph posts that you guys won again. Uh, has, <laughs> has he uh, kind of, you know, lived up to what you were expecting? Yeah, he's been, he's, he's been a great team player, great leader. And I think he's been player of the week in the conference the last three weeks. So he's, he's really coming on and he, he spreads the ball around really well. Um, I, I, I don't want to make it all about just him. He's playing amazing right now, but he's got a supporting cast around him that really makes, I would say his job easier. Our defense is playing lights out. Uh, the back end's playing well, but the front seven, I think, is the best front seven in football in, at our level. So it's having a good time right now. It's it's fun to coach, and it's a, it's a very, very fun team to be around. So last question and short answer, national yeah. champs this year? <laughs> I hope so. That's yeah. the goal. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, today, Tyler, you are monitoring social media for us. I don't think YouTube's running. I haven't had a chance to check since I'm pushing all these other buttons. Uh, so Tyler's going to check yep. and see if on yep, uh, nothing on YouTube. That's all right. Go to go to Facebook. And if we have any comments, if you're watching the show live and you want to comment, feel free to do so. If you see Kansas QB responding back, that's Tyler. And uh, so, yeah, you know, anything interesting is, 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 is commented on there. Feel free to pull that into the broadcast if you want to, Tyler. Totally up to you. You can do whatever you want. Quick uh, update from the Jewels in Northwest Missouri. Uh, I think last we talked before uh, we our last uh, podcast episode, second season, we were talking about this baseball team that I was coaching that I wasn't going to coach. My my son uh, plays. He's got 14 good athletes in his class that play together. There's more than 14, but 14 uh, that usually play together. And six of those good athletes played uh, travel ball this year, or select team ball, which 
which a lot of them have been doing it all along. And, you know, good for them. They're learning baseball and they've got some great coaches and whatnot. But that kind of left a hole with the kids that were left and, and we didn't have a coach. And I even had one parent come to me and say, well, it's too bad we're not going to have a baseball team this year. My son was really getting where he liked it. And I was like, well, we're going to have a baseball program. And so I spent some time learning how to be a baseball coach. YouTube was really handy with that and some podcasts and, and emailed uh, and read a book and emailed a guy. And, and pretty soon I had a philosophy of baseball I was really excited about. And I told the parents, I said, hey, we're probably going to lose a lot this year. So just prepare yourselves for that. Um, and the, the kids completely surprised me. Uh, it was the rec league, you know, so we weren't like winning a little league world series, but we went, uh, what 14 and zero in the rec division and they got moved up to select team tournament. And we won our first game against a really good team. And we were so close in the next game. We ended up losing two games to go out of the tournament, but, um, probably those kids end up 15 and two. I was a kid that um, hadn't really exhibited a lot of athletic uh, potential up to this point. I mean, they're fourth grade, fifth grade, so, you know, you know, I was going to see it right away. Turned into our ace pitcher. Uh, Jackson uh, led our, our team in hitting. My son, he had, uh, he bad 900 uh, all the way up to the last two games. He ended up batting uh, eight, uh, I think, you know, like 860 or something like that. Um, just hit the ball really well for us. Had another kid that could bomb the ball out in the outfield. And just that, we had a lot of fun. So uh, that ended up going really well. Jayla played in a couple games with only four players. So there's a, kind of the spectrum there. Jayla's team, you know, here, you know, Jackson's team, 15 0. Jayla's team, four players show up for a game, you know. But that's just, that's what you get in rec league ball. Uh, JC actually turned into a fast pitch softball pitcher. She was, in my opinion, if not our best hitter, definitely one of our best hitters and, you know, one of our two pitchers. So she ended up, you know, kind of liking that, even though she's more of a softball kind of uh, girl. Um, just got done with flag football season. Didn't end the way we wanted, but we, you know, had a lot of fun doing that. Uh, Jackson, that's his favorite. He, he played quarterback for our little team and just loves it. So, uh, and then uh, with the, over at the business, we've got, you know, I finished a documentary this summer for a local law firm. Uh, did projects for Missouri Western and University of Tennessee Martin, recently shot some weddings, did some commercials, and uh, we went on vacation to Mount Rushmore, but uh, that's really all I got, Tyler. That's it? That, that's all you did? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, we still got uh, I two did, minutes on the know, timer. I, I, I know, I did get to meet uh, Mike, Darth oh, Ted, yeah, you super did. fan of the show. They uh, brought their son and a couple of their St. Joseph Christian kids up for camp. Awesome to see those guys yeah. and put a face you know, with a name. Yeah, uh, I, I love Mike, as you know, super fan. But you know who else I love? Yeah, yeah. Our friend Matt. Hey, Matt, what have you been up to, buddy? <laughs> hey, I didn't even know you were oh. there. All right, we only left you a minute and a half because we got this timer going. But tell us about your day, buddy, or your time. We haven't talked to you in a while. You know, you guys made me feel pretty lazy with my kids. We just read books and watch TV. So I don't and know your kids you will be millionaires, <laughs> and ours will be working for them. So continue. <laughs> so we also made a big move. So we packed up the family and moved 730 miles from Utah to the great state of California. Uh, some great opportunities with my work, and then my wife and I have now, in our marriage, driven the entirety of I-80 from New York City all the way to San Francisco. So nice. I mean, if that doesn't say love, I don't know what does. Mm. Um, great road trip along the way. Highly recommend road tripping I-80 at some point. Um, in theme of the show, Kansas quarterbacks, I've also had the pleasure for the last year working on uh, the David Booth Memorial Stadium at my alma mater, Rock Chalk Jayhawk, University of Kansas. So, well, okay, pretty okay, awesome. okay, okay, wait, wait, tell us more about that. And also, so we got this timer to kind of keep us on track and, and make sure these episodes end up being 30 oh, no. minutes. But we have this new thing, Matt. Um, in addition to the timer, we, we also, you can say just a minute and, and get an extra 60 seconds at the end of it if, if you've got more to say. So I think this might be our first opportunity to employ uh, that uh, little, uh, little piece of the puzzle because I want to hear more about this, Matt. You, you worked on Kansas uh, football stadium area. Yeah. It's I mean, awesome. It's so cool. <laughs> That's the end of the timer. But guess what? Yeah. Just a minute. Keep going, buddy. Oh, oh. Uh, well, I will say, I, I think that, uh, you know, they selected me to help work on the project clearly because they knew that I was an alumni. Um, yep. I like to draw pictures. <laughs> yeah. And they knew I was a state championship in uh, eight-man football. Yeah, uh, you did. so they knew that I was qualified. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> um, it's going to be the envy of the Big Twelve uh, when all done. And uh, I could get into details, and I could go all day about like lighting for ESPN. It's awesome. There's a lot of things that you have to think about. So uh, I'll be excited in uh, about three years. I'll be able to point to TV and say, "Hey, I worked on that project." And my daughter Frances will be like, 
I don't care. <laughs> Taylor, shame on us. Shame on us for talking that whole time when, when Matt had all this fun stuff to tell us about. So uh, congratulations, oh. Matt. I, Tyler, I don't know if you've ever been to his uh, his, his website, uh, his company's website, and seen his picture. Mm -hmm. He looks pretty fancy. Have you been there? It doesn't matter, Tyler, because we're at the end of our time. <laughs> Half time and time. For as little as $15 per show, y'all business could be featured right here. A logo and an ad read is all you need to get started. Want more? Send us your 15 second advertisement or let's put one together for you. Kansas QB has partnered with Jewel Media LLC to provide options for every business. Interested? Fill out the form in the show notes to customize your Kansas QB ad experience. And now, back to the show. Jay Talkers. Well, he's a pastor. He's pursuing a master's in counseling. He's got an amazing story. His dream is to open a Christian counseling center in St. Joseph. He runs the Mind of Christ YouTube channel that is interviewing celebrity guests and blowing up the internet. But most importantly, he's the original drummer of the greatest rock band ever to be formed in the state of Missouri. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's Justin Amos. In studio, welcome to the show, Justin oh, Amos, and he froze. <laughs> froze. He froze right before we went to him. That's a good look there, though. It's Justin, your, it's welcome. your studio. Show. In my studio. How dare you freeze in my studio? How does this happen, Steve? I don't know. I'm I'm grossed out by it, though. I can tell you that much. Oh, I am so disappointed. <laughs> well, hey, Justin, uh, welcome, uh, Tyler. Do you have some questions for Justin while I fix his camera? <laughs> Did Tyler freeze too? Come on. Yeah, I'll let you do that. Justin, good to see you again, man. The last time, no, I'm good. I'm good. The last time that I think we were together, we I was probably guarding you. Or, or actually, probably the last time we were together, you were you were drumming in the gym at Midway uh, for a pep rally. And then, oh, you came on our our uh, our senior project uh, for the, for our talk show. Yeah. Um, no, man, it's always good to see you. Now, really important though, what? would you say was the biggest venue you ever played during your, your music career? Well, if, if any show will appreciate it, it's this one. I've performed at the Kansas Speedway. So that was actually last year. I got to perform at the world's largest barbecue competition. So that was pretty fun. And Absolutely. The food, yeah, they moved. And the food was delicious. They moved the Royal out there. Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. That's yep. awesome. Oh, that's a passion of mine as well. <laughs> okay. What, uh, what band were you playing with? Uh, that was with the wedding band that I'm um, uh, currently playing in right now in Kansas City called Lost Wax. Lost Wax. Classic, classic. Yeah. Now, I remember a different band. As a matter of fact, uh, that uh, intro had the first song, if I'm not mistaken, ever recorded by said band. Uh, John Goolsby, who might come up later, was was singing for Friday's Dream at the time. Yep. I actually uh, sent a message to uh, Chris Gressa to see if he was cool with me playing that. I didn't hear back from him, but I think it was cool. <laughs> I got Justin right here. It's fine. It's, cool. it's fine. I'll yeah. speak for the whole band. It's cool. Yeah. So so <laughs> you playing as this this you know in this other band, Friday's Dream, you played a pretty big venue there, or you were about to play a big venue with that band. So question for you, Justin, bigger disappointment, losing a close one at the Civic Arena, a mere stone's throw from the state championship tournament, or watching a tornado in Friday's dreams, uh, uh, dreams at Godstock? <laughs> um, definitely not making it to the state championship would be the bigger disappointment for sure. Attaboy. Congratulations. <laughs> wow. that, was, that was the correct answer. Thank you. Uh, so, so, but you remember, uh, actually, uh, there's a picture that I have of me laying on the ground at Missouri Western. This is in the, the St. Joe News Press. And uh, you guys, the rest of the team, are huddled up and kneeling down and praying while I'm having my ankle tended to by Coach Fox and, and Coach Robertson. And, uh, and so I kind of, I didn't help us win that one because then I was kind of limpy at the Civic Arena. But I went back and watched that tape. Justin, we were up in the fourth quarter and we only ended up losing, what, by, what, four points, six points, something like that. So we could have won that thing. It was so close. Such a disappointment. Such a disappointment. All right, go ahead, Tyler. You got, you got questions. <laughs> well, I tell you what. I love going back. We're, trust me, we are not as – we're better now than, in our minds than we ever were <laughs> on the court. But tell us about your journey with mental health, man. Um, why are you so passionate about it? Sure, yeah. So I have struggled with my mental health really my whole life, uh, starting as early as age six. 
and pretty much three or four years ago, just had a complete um, mental breakdown. Um, figured out that I had obsessive compulsive disorder, and that really kind of changed the trajectory of my life. Um, I started a mental health support group. Did some. I'm a pastor by day, so I did a sermon series on mental health. Now I am in school, getting my master's to become a licensed counselor um, with the dream of starting a counseling center here in St. Joseph through my church. So it's kind of a story of God taking my pain and hopefully using some of my recovery and redemption to help others who are also hurting in that same area and struggle. So, I mean, with, with that, I mean, help, help the lay person out that's listening to you and you're using big words and, okay, you're going to get your master's in counseling, real cool. Um, you're a pastor. Okay, we get it. You, you're, you're better than all of us. But um, <laughs> oh for the layman, <laughs> for the layman that's struggling, uh, lay woman, the, the lay person who's struggling with uh, these, these intrusive thoughts, I mean, what... So what is it that you provide or, you know, I mean, what's just some some resources that you could give to people that um, are struggling with different kinds of things? And what kind of things are we talking about here mental health wise? Oh, my gosh, there's so much mental health is not it's far more than just intrusive thoughts. That's where a lot of people first go. But, you know, it's rooted uh, not always, but oftentimes in a lot of childhood trauma that's unresolved um, and just not dealt with that can creep up in the way that we relate to people or receive love or give love. Um, you know, you're talking anxiety, depression, all types of, you know, and you have OCD. Of course, you have more severe illnesses, you know, like bipolar, schizophrenia, things like that. But just, you know, we're living in a mental health crisis. And so there are so many resources out there, um, you know, numerous books. I could certainly link in the comments. Gr great podcasts that I follow. Um, but to have holistic mental health, it, it, it truly is. It's the way it's our sleeping habits. It's our relationships, being vulnerable with people. It's, um, you know, learning about mental health. That's been a big part of my journey, just actually studying kind of how the mind works and ways that we can make it healthy and grow and prioritize it just like we do our bodies or anything that we want to take seriously. So too much to get into in this short show, but it is it is a lot to encompass, and it's really a holistic pursuit to be truly healthy and thrive. But it, healing and recovery are always possible. So if folks want to find out more about that healing and recovery journey, they can just go over to the Mind of Christ YouTube channel, right, uh, yes. Justin, and hook up with you there, right? Yes, absolutely. I'm always posting as much content as I can. Basically, I'm taking a lot of stuff I'm learning in my counseling program and trying to pass that on for free via my YouTube channel. So I think we're going to be linking that in the comments or somewhere. Yeah, on this. It should be down there. If Sweet. I did it right, it should be down there. But I think the point is people need to understand that you can get a master's degree in counseling just by, you know, finding his YouTube channel and it's free. Yes. It's, a, it's exactly the same thing. You, you know what? We don't, we got, that's, that's the important thing. So, you know, you kind of, you nailed that one. Good job. Well done. But let's move on to these rapid fire questions. Oh Wait, I don't have a, a, a cool stinger for that, but uh, Justin, now that we got you in here and you're an expert on mental health, you love athletics. Um, you're also a former rock star, um, current rock star, apparently, also with the wedding band, which I've heard them play, and they're really good, Tyler. I actually went to a concert by them not too long ago. And, boy, why ah. hit some high notes? Uh, but greatest rock band of the early 2000s, and why is that band Creed? So. <laughs> oh. oh, my gosh. I was going to go with the Dave Matthews band, but sure, Creed? Hey, listen, go back and somebody go back and listen to the uh, Friday Stream What's Inside album. You tell me they weren't influenced by Creed. Oh, for sure. For sure. 1,000, 1, 1,000%. 1,000. Percent. Definitely. Okay. Who's the most famous person? Who's the most famous person you met as a rock star? Uh, Rascal Flatts. Oh, is the guy's name actually Rascal? Or does he have a different <laughs> Rascal Flatts? It is not. That's his last name. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, uh, what uh, kind of loser chooses to be a pastor instead of a rock star drummer? Oh, my gosh. I guess when God calls, you just got to listen. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> you could have been famous. Now look at you. Well, you got a YouTube I'll channel. Make... With a lot more followers than we okay, do, I'll... so I guess you are famous. Here's a layup. Greatest senior basketball duo in St. Joseph Christian history. What a ridiculous question. Me and Steve. Pfft, that Come was on. easy. <laughs> All right. How much of the uh, required reading in Mrs. Sundermeyer's senior English class did you actually read? Please answer in total books. <laughs> Half a book total, maybe. <laughs> I just want to make sure he was going to be you know, honest. Turns out that's, he uh, he's he's a he's a pastor. Yeah. He's a pastor. He has. He started pastor. reading okay. after high school. Yes, that's actually true. 
I learned then too, left to right, top to bottom, try to keep your mouth shut. Um, best single, best single of 2021, Shine On by John Goolsby. Oh, that's playing. Or it is. I know you've been through some hard mm, times. Lighten your heart still glows in the Good. dark. Where is the burn so bright? Or uh, which side note for John, like I still I if I'm driving, I sing speaking of Charlotte all the time. Like it's Great just song. it's always Midwest amazing. album. So yeah, exactly. Uh, or so shine on or read your Bible by Jack Frazier. Steady sinning, but I'm steady forgiving. Can you see it in the way that I'm living? Cause I've been on it for a while now. Hey, I ain't gonna get it right any other way. Why do you got to make me pick between my friends? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, oh, no. I'll you go are with, not allowed to get off the hook on this one, Justin. I'll go with Jack. Jack, <laughs> hey, there's your winner. Steady sinning, but I'm steady forgiving. And that's not influenced that at all living, by the fact that he doesn't see John as much anymore. <laughs> and he's got to work with Jack in the church. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God, I love Jack uh, and John, both of them. <laughs> when you know famous musicians, you know, you just got to gotta flaunt it, right? Justin, would you, oh, would you agree? Sure, absolutely. All right, uh, really quickly, we got a minute left here uh thoughts or rather best chiefs meme content is being put out by who right now me my page arrowhead memes follow me on facebook largest chiefs memes page on the internet over, he's a big deal kid. over sixty-two thousand followers he's a big he's got, he's got, yeah like 800 people following him on mind of christ and sixty-two thousand <laughs> following him with his memes of the chief stuff you can see where our priorities are as americans so well done oh, Justin. Oh, thank you my goodness thank you. You've got a new fan in my son, by the way. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. Go ahead, Tyler. You got one more? No, he doesn't, but I do. Thoughts on trailer. Uh, thoughts on trailer. Beach out. Trailer? Swift and Kelsey? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, sure. I like T Swift. I'm down with it. It's getting a little annoying, all the publicity, but hey. On that note, <laughs> I just I'm hitting I'm hitting buttons. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Uh, Tyler, what are your thoughts on trailer? I know you're a big fan. Uh, I just hope that I just I just hope they invite me to the new house. Wait, no doubt. Well, they they have a they have a house. Yee-haw! Oh, that's why we can't switch yet. The time <laughs> ran ran out yet. Now, new segment, bike. Uh, Pick your payback. When we were kids, Tyler and I took every opportunity to embarrass our older siblings, Kevin and Becky, in public. The shoe has switched feet, and it's payback time. So basically, Tyler, this segment puts Tyler and I, in you and I, in the awkward position we used to put our older siblings in. The only difference is that now we are 30 years older, and we plan to put our awkward moments on display for our audience. I have given one of our older siblings four cards to randomly choose from, these cards will hold a task that must be performed by one of us and must be captured on film and or photo. Tyler, this is the moment you have been eagerly anticipating. Scale of one to 10, what is your level of excitement right now? Zero. My level of excitement is zero. No, this is a bad idea. You realize that there's two of us. Like there's a 50-50 chance that you're going to be picked for this. Yes, I do. Like, though, I I, don't I realized that in entirety. I didn't, think about that. I didn't think that one through. Yeah. Oh, I mean, hang on. Matt, you still there? Is Matt still there? Hey, there's. Oh, <laughs> he's eating something. Hey, Matt, there he is. Uh, hey, Matt, would you join us for another segment? Do I have a choice? You you absolutely <laughs> have a choice, but um, I I think really to kind of entice you, you have a thirty three percent chance of winning. I like those odds. Excellent. Uh, too late to change course now. Let's just uh, go ahead and find out who is here to exact revenge. It's my brother, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Yeah. All right. Hey, guys. Talk to you, Debbie. Uh, really excited for uh, this new season and uh, um, some of the new things you guys have in stores, like pick your payback. So uh, let's get started. First, uh, Options for uh, this first episode include Street Corner Performer, Crop Top Shopper, Singing in the Store, and 
frenemies. So uh, I can't wait. I kind of hope that uh, we get the singing in the store because uh, that does bring back some memories. I'm sure the kids will love uh, hearing uh, either of you singing uh, uh, the Barney theme song like you used to 30 years ago. So uh, who's up for today? Okay, so this is one of those ideas that sounds good until you actually picture yourself dressed in a concert attire on a street corner playing a trombone poorly for tips. Not that I would play a trombone poorly. <laughs> or Matthew for that matter. We both were trombone players. So, all right, too late to change course now. So let's just go ahead and figure out um, who's gonna be the one, uh, you know, uh, getting the payback pick. I have a hat here. It's actually a peanut jar because I forgot to bring a hat, but I had peanuts. I had about this much left and I went ahead and just poured it out and, um, I put it in Wait, there. You're, you're, you're the one. You're the one in charge of it. Hey, here we go. So, um, in the transparent jar. Yeah, it's a transparent jar to, to encourage transparency. Also, uh, Pastor Amos is still in studio to guarantee the legitimacy of the results. Um, so, um, Just, I'm going to go ahead check these. And, and reach in here. See how I'm moving it around? It has my name, Tyler's name, and we just added Matt's name. And yes, that is like, it's not salt, but it's like weird little peanut bits in there, too. I hope you guys aren't allergic. That's not funny. All right, I'm going to pick and, and, oh, we got a winner. Justin, was that? That, did you see like uh, let's, legit. Yeah, how legit it was very legit it was too legit to quit too legit to did quit. you check uh, the other names right there, though? is it not just my name okay well okay wait all right, all right here i have right here okay i'll go i'll go camera one here just so that everybody can, can see okay i have right here i've got the one that we we pulled out okay here right here i have the rest of the names in here do you guys want to know who's not going to be picked oh i like this way just i like this way Let's go well, back. Just, just do one it of them. Is maybe? Not. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I, 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 haven't, I have not seen this. This is not rigged in any way. All right. And here we have a person who is not going to have to do it. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. How? I love this segment. No. <laughs> this You're is okay. awesome. Oh. I, oh. I will say. I will say. If 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 I were to get picked, half of these things are pretty normal. In Bay Area. <laughs> all right, so. cool. Well, I hope you get the, picked. The, the crop top shopping, that's all in for. He's normal. Also, he does live in California. so It's just a weekend. Hurt. Yeah, absolutely. That's a, that's a, a great point. Weekend. It's a slow Tuesday. All right, so we're going to find out in a second what the person who was picked has to do. Uh, uh, Justin's over here. He's watching me, okay? I know I'm kind of off camera here. This is the one I picked. Matthew, I am so glad. I'm calling you Matthew because it's formal now. I am so glad that you joined this, and I think there's a pretty good chance that this is going to be your name. Ladies and gentlemen, the person who is going to have the pleasure of being our first pick your payback person. No! <laughs> no, it's me. It's me. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Boo. I'm sorry. Mm. Whose idea was this? Uh, Great you game. Can, you, you just Great need to turn game. this into a positive moment. You won. Think of it I as did. a positive. I win. All right, Kevin's standing by <laughs> to tell us what. What I won. Kevin, be gentle. Go ahead. Okay, let's see which one you picked. We have frenemies. I am not even sure what that means, but uh, I can't wait to see the video, guys. Good luck. All right, frenemies. So actually, I feel a bit better now because uh, this is actually the least awful of the three. Um, but here's the read for this one. It's time for longtime enemies to become friends. This week's frenemies challenge, because it could be different depending on when you pick, you know, pick frenemies, will be to find five strangers in public places who are wearing a shirt or a jersey of the local team. Kansas QB, if you know, if you guys would have won, we would have sent you uh, attire depicting uh, the local team's most hated rival. Uh, you will strike up a conversation with said strangers and then ask to have your photo taken with them. And this all has to be captured on video. And should you fail, should I fail to complete this task to the satisfaction of the spirit of the rules, we're hoping, uh, well, I was hoping it was you guys uh, getting told, no, you won't have a picture taken with, or maybe just people are really nice where you're from. That's what we're gonna find out. Uh, but should you fail to complete the task, then you will automatically uh, become the selection for Pick Your Payback the next episode. Um, our audience can look forward to watching this video next time on Kansas QB, and this might be the last episode of Kansas QB as a result. Just kidding. Scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you guys that you weren't picked? Tyler, you go first. Uh, uh, 11. 
like break the speakers. It's an eleven. <laughs> Uh, Matthew, you said you were you were wanting to be picked. I mean, uh, uh, this is a one. I really wanted that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> he really wanted that one. Well, that does it for this episode of Kansas QB. Thank you to our friend Matt, Justin Amos, and Kevin Jewell for joining us on the show today. Also, thank you to Mike Hubble, our friend Matt again, David Dudek, Brett Miner, Darren Roberts, Carmen Van Hooten, Mark and Nancy Martin, and anyone else that I accidentally charged last month. Kansas QB is a production of the Jewel Media Podcasting Network. And before we go, we want to thank Tracy of Tracy Lindley VoiceOvers for the way too professional audio. And of course, I would like to thank Tyler for clearing time in his busy schedule to talk about mental health no that's awesome catching up with matt getting going again seeing justin for the first time in a long time and look at this guy we have a wedding in the family and we have rehearsal dinner tonight so will's getting ready to take off uh he is the ring bearer uh the ring security guard so uh he looks nice all right looking good buddy looking good well that's enough of that for tyler i'm steve wishing you big fun in your small town i didn't test this button yet Oh, that kind of worked.